It's been so long that I don't even know how to make a video. Hello lovely bookworms, I'm Esme from Paradise of Pages on Instagram and welcome to a new video. Uh, today's video is going to be a little different, you might have already seen that from the title. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you the reasons why I've been gone for the past few weeks and also the reasons why there's not going to be a February wrap-up or a March TBR. I will mention um, these things in here, so what I've read in February and some of my wishes for March. And to end off with a more positive note, I'm going to be showing you guys the books that I have received for my birthday. Uh, either that I've got from friends or that I bought with money that I got for my birthday. So without further ado, let's get into it. So starting off with why I've been gone, why there are no reading vlogs, all that jazz. Uh, the reason for me is this university is really, really busy right now and there's simply no time to vlog my life. That is one. Two is the fact that I don't do enough with my life that I can make a full-fetched vlog that is nice to see. Because every single day I wake up early, get to my desk or get to class and study, 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 study. Sometimes I see my friends, of course, I still see Femke, uh, I still see all my other friends, like we still have some fun, but uh, that really happens sparingly. So there's just not a lot of time and not a lot of interesting footage to show you guys and I just don't feel like I want to put boring vlogs online just for the fact that there are vlogs. So that's why those are not going to be there currently. I don't think I will give up vlogging completely, but once things are kind of getting into the swing of things again and I feel like I'm doing a lot more nicer things, um, I will definitely, definitely pick them up again and if there's, I don't know, a day where we're doing something fun, I will definitely pick up uh, the vlogs. So don't worry, they're not going to be gone, it's not that I hate it, it's just that there's no time. Now for the reason why there's no February uh, wrap up is that the majority of the books that I've read this month are either for uni or rereads. So I wanted to talk to you guys about them quickly. I read a total of five books for university this month uh, and two of those were plays. I had to read uh, Blasted, which is a play, then Look Back in Anger, which is also a play. I read Lady Chatterley's Lover, Northern South, Howard's End and Brave New World. That's six books, as may not five can't even count anymore. Um, they're not very interesting so I'm not gonna link them down or show them here. Then I have reread four books in this month and that is the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. I've loved those books when I was 13, 14 and um, I recently rewatched the videos because another reason why I haven't been vlogging is because I've been sick the last week, partly why I still look a little bit under the weather. And I really, really enjoyed reading those again. So I read Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. I have to say that Twilight is by far my favorite um, because I'm not the biggest Jacob fan. Not in the movies and also not in the books. So yeah, Twilight is my favorite. And then the one thing I did manage to do is finish the book that Femke challenged me, which is not very hard because it was a graphic novel and those are uh, monstrous. Uh, I have the second and the third volume here. This is the second volume, this is the third volume, uh, because the first volume I've already read and Femke brought that one home and gave me these other two to read. Um, in the second one I'm already halfway. Um, you can see better like this. And yeah, I really really enjoy them. Had to get into the story and the fact that there is no actual lines but there's dialogue in here but I uh, really, really enjoyed these, so I'll be finishing those somewhere soon as well. And that is actually everything that I've read in February. I felt like the only thing I was doing was studying, reading, uh, reading for university, which is also studying, obviously. And then when I got to read a book in between, um, I couldn't really pick up a big one or anything that's like substantial, so a new book. I, only, I could only reread or do something small or, or tiny, so nothing on the list that I've actually mentioned at the end of January was read, um, which sucks, but sometimes those things happen. I did want to mention a book that I'm currently reading, and that is Truth Witch by Susan Denard. Uh, I think I am, I don't know, like 112, let's see. 
oh, 115 pages in, so I got a little bit of this book down, and I will be continuing that. Really, really enjoy it. It's just that there's not a lot of time, so that will probably be read in March. Speaking of March, uh, I have a few wishes for March. Femke still challenged me a book, which is Air Awakens by Elise Kova. She really, really loved it and read it very fast as well, so I think that I can pick that up definitely. Uh, March gives me a little bit more space, I hope, even though there are three or four essays that I have to write and I really have to start writing my thesis. Um, I'm still in my research uh, phase right now. So Air Awakens is going to be on there. I also really want to finish Truth Witch and I want to finish a third book that I was supposed to buddy read with Femke and Amber who have finished it but I haven't and that is The Poppy War. So um, those are my wishes so far for March. I have no clue other than that what will be on there. If I read enough in March you will see a March wrap up at the end of the month um, but I really really don't know what is gonna happen so that's why I didn't want to put down a gigantic list and make myself feel sad because I wasn't able to read any of them. I think that is everything that I wanted to talk about. But now for a more happy thought and a happy note, I wanted to share with you guys the books that I got for my birthday. They're all amazing and I'm so excited. These are in no particular order, I'm just gonna show you what I got and uh, remark maybe a little bit about it, maybe not, um, we'll see. Firstly, the two books that I got uh, are Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. These are the, um, what is it? These are the anniversary editions and I have them in Gryffindor, as you can see from the beautiful, beautiful sprayed edges. And um, I'm very, very excited to have these. I want to collect every single one of these in, obviously, Gryffindor. And I also have a paperback set, which I think <laughs> covers me for the next decade or so. So yeah, these were the first two that I got. Then another book that was on my list for a long time that I really, really wanted was Daughter of the Siren Queen by Tricia Liebenseller. I have the first one, Daughter of the Pirate King. Uh, I also read the second one, but I didn't have it in a physical copy yet. But because I love these so much, I, I wished for it for my birthday and here it is. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to finally have this on my shelves and I think now that I'm holding it, it is high time for a reread because apparently that's the only thing that I can do at the moment. Then another book that I've already read but also one that I love, love, love and that is The Winner's Curse by Mary Ruthkowski. I'm very excited to have this one. I still need the second and the third one but again, really, really love this trilogy. It was so special and the second book actually made it onto my favorites list um, and I'm starting to be more and more picky with my favorites so that means that it's a very good book. So this one I also got for my birthday. Next up is a book that I haven't read yet and that is definitely on my TBR for 2019 so I still have a lot of time to read it. I will read it at some point and that is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. Tomi Adeyemi, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's such a big book too, it's so big and I've heard so many good things about this book. So when I opened up this present, I was very, very ecstatic. I'm so excited to read this. I got this from a friend who uh, usually picks the books on my wish list that she has read and she read this one and really, really enjoyed it. So I'm sure that I will do that too. This next book I bought for myself but with money that I got for my birthday. I also already started this book and that is The Poppy War. Uh, you know what I did? I put on the dust jacket the other way around because it's upside down. Let me quickly change out <laughs> the dust jacket. So now it's the right way around. Uh, I am about 100 pages in and I will definitely be continuing this. Truth Witch and Poppy War are first on my to be read list because I already started them and uh, I hope that I can finish these in March and then see from there what I want to read. The last book that I got is one that I'm a little bit um, wary about and I'll explain to you why. 
This is King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. It is so beautiful, guys. Mine has, I think everyone's has that, but it has this underneath the dust jacket. Mine is also signed. And it's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous book. Uh, I was very, very excited for this book, but that kind of dialed down a little bit because Femke already read it and she was not the biggest fan of this. She really told me that Lee Bardugo sort of took a step down from Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. And I already know a few things that are going to happen in here. I already know the biggest thing that is going to happen at the end. And I have to say that I'll still read it, but I'm a little less hyped. So maybe that will make this book a little bit, I don't know, a little bit nicer to read. Knowing full well kind of what you're getting into. But still, I'm very, very happy to have this. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful cover. And I'm so happy about the fact that it is signed. Because Lee Bardugo is still one of my favorite authors. Those were all the books that I was actually gifted for my birthday. Um, there's a cat here. <laughs> and I have to say that I really, really feel spoiled. There are so many of them and I just have the bestest friends in the world. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody says that about their friends, but mm, mine are just better. <laughs> I think that also concludes this video. I have no clue how long I've been talking for. Um, it might be very long, it might be very short and me running through everything thinking that there's so much to talk about. But that is everything for this video. If you made it to the end, thank you for watching. Please comment down below um, a book that you really want to read this year. I don't know. Or just a book that you want to recommend or something that you enjoyed. I always love to see some kind of recommendation for books so please don't hesitate to comment that down below. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and press that little bell icon so you can post notifications every single time that we post and I will see you guys the next time. Bye! Yeah.